Hey guys, welcome to LA Love Creative. And today we're talking about time management as a creative. If you haven't, make sure you hit the bell so you can stay notified when we post new videos. As a creative freelancer, you're in love with the freedom that that represents. Ultimately, you have your own goals in mind. You don't want to work for someone else. And it is up to you to figure out your scheduling and organization so that you can complete the tasks that you have to do. So I'm going to talk today about some tips on how to manage your time a little bit better and how to not go crazy when you are ultimately in charge of everything. My first tip would be find what time works best for you. There are people that read those tech biographies and they see, oh, I gotta wake up at 5 a.m., tackle the day. Ah, uh, that's the only way to be successful. Honestly, that's not how it works. Everyone has their own way of doing things. And I think as a creative, you need to start to realize what time am I most effective? Are you a morning person? Are you a night person? What time do you feel the most productive in your day? Once you figure that time out, it could, it's gonna be different for everybody. It might be at noon is when you feel like you're ultimately the best at what you do. Just find the time management that works for you and go from there. Number two, avoid procrastination. I know ultimately you're going to procrastinate. All of us do it, I know. It sucks, but we all procrastinate. One of the best things I could say is have a plan of attack. Start getting in the habit of making a to-do list, whether it be digitally or on a piece of paper in a notebook. I personally wasn't a big fan of making to-do lists. I would start them in journals, I would start them in notebooks, and then next thing you know, I would never use them again. However, though, I recently found a app that I really, really like, or two apps that I really, really like. The apps are Actions and Time Page. These apps are really easy for me to stay organized. They have a sync to your calendar so you can put different points and different tasks and everyone in your team can actually be synced together. I love the layout of the app. It's really, really easy to, to understand and use and it just makes organizing your life a breeze. Um, on top of that, you can make certain lists so that when you have a point, let's say you have to do something for photography, let's say you have to do something for videography, you can make certain lists for whatever type of projects you're doing and you can organize them by those lists. However, just know with time page and actions, there is a monthly cost, I believe of like $2 a month, or you can do an annual plan where you just pay like $12 for the year. I love these two apps. I personally would have never saw myself using a organization planner app, but I've been using these two and they've been working wonders for my business and as a creative freelancer. Focus on the hard task first. I know. Now, focus is a big issue for me. I, when I was a younger, they would say I had ADD. To be honest, I have ADD, D, D, D. I am just everywhere. I find myself trying to do the fun task when I have a lot of things I need to be doing, I need to be focusing on the hard stuff. The editing, the color correction, the photoshopping, the retouching. Make sure the hardest project that you need to be working on, the one that is most important, is being worked on at least in the beginning of the day. You can venture off into other stuff, but make sure you're tackling most of your time on that project. Learn to prioritize your workflow and you will have way better results when it comes to time management. Self-care. I know you didn't expect that. I know when it comes to time management, the last thing you wanna hear is do nothing, but make sure you're scheduling time to do nothing. Once you get really good at scheduling your day and scheduling out your week or month or even year, you gotta make sure that you're scheduling time for you, for yourself, so that you can disconnect, so that you can refresh and recharge, so you don't burn yourself out when you're scheduling things and when you're tackling projects. My advice when it comes to self-care is try to figure out a way to disconnect from social media, get off of Instagram so you're not scrolling on your feed, try to make sure that you are tackling things that you really love. That way when you come back to work, you're refreshed, you're ready to tackle more projects and you can actually remember why you do this. I think it's really easy when you're working as creative to get stressed out, overwhelmed, and feel like everything needs to be done right now. Pace yourself, organize your stuff, do stuff for you so that you can feel a little bit more refreshed when you go back to work. Now those are my four tips on time management. Make sure that you find the best time for you to work, 
that you avoid procrastination, that you are tackling the most important things first, and that you're taking time to take care of yourself. So those are my top four tips on time management as a creative freelancer. Let me know if you have any tips on how to stay grounded as a creative, and I will see you next time. See you later.